And welcome back to Warlike Gamer Kadosh playing Bioshock, everybody. Oh, hold on. I think I saw Shadow over here. Somebody over here have to. Oh, God, lag. Okay. Ah, stop lagging, please. Okay. Alright, we're gonna go. We're gonna play. We're gonna move on. Watch closely. There you have it, Adam. That is the thing that everybody wants, and everyone needs, I guess. Check this out. This shit scared the shit out of me when I first played the game. Oh boy, I don't know where to go. Oh, there's something. As if he could still make sound after being impaled by that drill. But whatever. That's, that bothered, that always bothered me. Like they go through that door, even though you can see clearly there, you don't see them walk away. So yeah, that's uh, if we're gonna be, guess what? We're gonna be fighting a lot of those big things. Oh, we got two nice songs playing at the same time, and I don't know which one to listen to. Very unfortunate. Director's commentary. If I were after the director's commentary right now, I would, I would probably play that. But I'll probably listen to that in my own time, as well as any of you can as well. So we'll get our gun out. We'll loot whatever this guy has. And uh, we'll go on. Affordable endings, funeral home. Because. Uh... Damn, three headshots, girl? Ryan's favorite gal. Yeah. Ah, what is up with the lag? It's really weird. I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk over here. Ah, missed. Come on, come on. Just come on, come on. Just over here. Come get me. There we go. Let's zap him. Oh shoot. Oh. Damn it. Uh, I always hate taking hits from thuggish splicers. They're the weakest of the weak. Alright, so we're just gonna move on here, just jump off this waterfall, and uh, we'll explore our surroundings a bit. So, last we, last I left off, I, my daughter woke up, and I had to, you know, be a father once again. Well, I'm always a father, I guess, but I had to resume my fatherly duties, and be, be uh, care for her. And... Yeah, today my wife and I had, went to Buffalo Wild Wings, even though we shouldn't have spent the money. I just had a nice time as a family. Got some stuff at Target. Target, as some people call it. And now everybody is asleep, and I am ready to resume recording. Oh shit, I'm drunk. I'm drunk. 
damn it. Didn't want that. Alright, let's go to Neptune's Bounty. Oh, but wait, we can't! Oh, that's not gonna work out. These people are gonna come down here, and I'm just gonna zap them. It's the perfect and most... and the least interesting... OH MY GOD! God. Okay, that 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 uh, kind of surprised me. Oh boy. oh boy! Gotta 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 keep an eye on my surroundings. I'm gonna jump down and I got him. Got him. All right. Alright, I'm going, I'm going, going to, going to medical. Hold on, hold on. There we go, that's what I was trying to get. So I guess we're going to go to the medical pavilion to get to Neptune's bounty. Because why can't everything just be a straight arrow shot to wherever I want to go? And... Oh, closed off. Alright, we're going to watch some TV. Oh boy, here we go. I was wondering what was around this other corner. I think I should be scared right now. Should I be scared? Nah, I'm not gonna be scared. Alright. So, not really bringing it as a socialite right now to the show. Just sipping on my decaf coffee, because it's... Um, 8.44 p.m. and I gotta work early tomorrow. Well, you know, coffee makes me feel more like me. So, that's why I'm drinking it for the show. As if any of that matters. So, uh, tomorrow's my first day resuming work after a while. Uh, let's listen to this. That's yeah, my first day working after like I think five days off. Lucky five days off that I got. My hands feel wonderful right now, and it's gonna go back to hurting tomorrow. I'm a massage therapist, in case any of you know. I say it in a lot of my ep I say that in a handful of episodes, but for all I know, you could be watching this for the first time. Uh, yeah, let's not bother buying anything right now. Uh, oh yeah, we can hack things in this game. So let's hack. This is the hacking game that we play in Bioshock. These tubes get filled with some green goo. And what I do is I bring the green goo uh, over to the end. Simple. And now this uh, little turret will fight for me. There we go. Oh, I probably could have let the other guy deal with that. I'm just gonna wait for him to come down. There we go. Away 
with our scalpels and toy morality. Yes, we could lop a boil here and shave down a beak there, but, but could we really change anything? No, but Adam gives us the means to do it. And Ryan frees us from the phony ethics that held us back. Change your look, change your sex, change your race. It's yours to change. Nobody else's. And with that interesting talk from Dr. J. Steinman, I will end this episode. On the next episode, we're going to pull this access control and see what happens. Take care.